I had someone inside at the DDC Dojo mentoring group, the mentoring group that I started, ask me this question on, dude, like, just tell me what kind of ads to make because I'm overwhelmed by this. So the context here is they were struggling with being inside their head for too long and procrastinating on like, what kind of ads to make? Because for some people, it can be quite intimidating. What kind of ads, what kind of creative, there's an unlimited amount of possibilities and it can seem quite overwhelming. So what I did is I just went and picked all a bunch of different ad accounts that we have, picked just five ads ads that are very, very simple that are converting like crazy. And I'm gonna share them with you on this video. Now these five ads anyone can make. So one of the criteria I use were what ads is something that anyone can make. So like the first three you can literally make in Canva, like they're static ads you can make in Canva and they're crushing. And the last two are video. One of them is you can literally make with an iPhone with no voice, you don't have to show your face. And then the last one is literally you can just take a picture, make a video from it and a slideshow. And those five ads are crushing right now and they're so dead simple, easy to make that it eliminates any excuse anyone has to make ads that convert. You wanna see them? Let's go. All right. So here are five dead simple ads that are crushing right now for some of our brands. Now, just to show you the spend receipts, that is one of the ads that are converting right now. It has spent $43,000 and made a lot of money. So let's walk you through what they are. So the first three are statics, the last two are videos. So the first one is this one. So this is actually a brand that we've been working with for some time and it's just a static ad. Now, what's great about this ad is you can make this in Canva. All you need is the picture of the product. So if you just have the white vector image of a product, you can then put behind it the flavor. So what we did here is we literally just put the flavor behind it. So they did a special partnership with Dole and did, they did a Dole Whip and that flavor is like a pineapple-y, like pina colada flavor. And that's it. And that ad is crushing. So anyone can make this, by the way. You can take fashion, you can take dog stuff, you can take tech products and you want to put behind it the feeling or an aesthetic that gives the feeling. And you'll see in a few moments, we have a fashion brand that kind of does something like this, but this ad's crushing and you can make this in Canva. Ad number two is very simple. This one is working because it's so based in research and that's why it works. There's nothing to this ad that's revolutionary. It's literally just a picture of the product and that's it. But why this ad really, really works is because the research that went into it is speaking the exact language and pain that everyone who would want this product feels. Let me tell you what I mean. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know how much I stress research. It's incredibly important. It's where your best hooks, your best ads, where everything comes from, okay? The best offers come from as well. And why this works is because what we found in research is that the people who have a thing against oat milk and nut milk from the store, which you should, is because the additives that they add to it is actually very unhealthy for you. So there's actually a really big niche right now of people who make their own milk substitutes at home. But the problem is to do that is a nightmare. You're like, you're taking stuff, you're pressing it, and it makes a massive mess. It's a bunch of dishes you have to clean up. But this product allows you to do it one one product without any mess. But because we knew that from the research, all we had to say was clean counters, pure taste. And that immediately resonates with those people that have that pain. Because here's the thing, we're not trying to go after everyone. We're not trying to convert milk drinkers to nut milk. No, no. We're going after people who make their own nut milk and that they want to have a simpler product or process to do that, which is this. And another reason why this works is it talks about the unique value proposition positions right here. And it talks about where it's been featured. And that's it. Very simple ad. You can also make this in Canva. This one is one of my favorite ones. I love before and afters and I love advertorial ads. They're probably my two favorite ads you can make a few reasons. Number one is they're so easy to make. Number two is you can say very little or nothing at all but show the before and after and people immediately know what you're talking about or they immediately interpret what you're talking about, which is why I like it. And then number three, I like the advertorial style, which is makes it look like it's a news article is because it uses the ad philosophy of camouflage. So camouflage is an ad technique where you want your ads to not feel like an ad and blend into the ecosystem that they live in so that it feels more natural and authentic and people don't think that it's an ad. So another reason why this works so well, it shows a brand, brand didn't do anything. It shows this product. Product, but why it works is it shows and it dramatizes the impact the benefit's gonna have. Because when you look at this, you can't really tell how much longer these lashes are. But when you put it next to an eyelash measurer, now it dramatizes the massive impact your eyelashes are gonna have. And that's why I think it works. So this, what's really cool here is if you have a product and that product solves a problem or has some kind of benefit from it, think about what is something I can create that dramatizes the benefit they're gonna have. For example, this brand, all they had to do was just print out 
called um, millimeter measurements to put on her eyelash to show that it grew and that's it. This ad has spent so much money. It is converting so well. So keep in mind, a advertorial, it, it does a comparison between a previous brand and then also shows the before and after of their product and it's also in the advertorial version. But this, this next one is a video and I'm gonna show you the video then we're gonna talk about why it's working. All right, so cool things about this ad. Number one, it's literally just an image. So if you don't have any videos, you have no excuse. You can literally take an image, and this is also can be made in Canva, and you can make a video slideshow and add music to it. So you have no excuse not to play videos. Number two, why this works is I believe a few reasons. Number one, it shows such a great imagery or a dream outcome of what everyone wants to look and feel like in a dress and that works. So if you've ever done fashion, we do a lot of fashion, that's a big part. Imagery is so crucial in fashion. That's why you want to pick the attractive people, pick the attractive models, pick the attractive aesthetics, the attractive scenes, the attractive backdrops, because it's a real thing. People want things that are just gonna make them feel like they're the kind of person to go and do those things. Now, another reason why this works is dramatization. So a lot of you have probably seen ads that show as seen in, but the problem with that is there's maybe two or three as seen ins. If you watch this video, they show seven or eight. I think at some point halfway through the video, the first time I watched it, my mind thought, man, I can't believe it's still going because I expected it to be over. But the fact that it kept going and it dramatized where they've been seen in so much, it actually created a sense of belief that, oh my my gosh, they've been seeing so many things, it must be real. Now this next video is really cool. It does not show the founder's face, has no voiceover, and it's literally just using music over B-roll with text. All right, you ready for this? That's it. This ad is also absolutely crushing. So why does this work? Number one, it feels very authentic. Number two is it's saying the number one hairstylist in the world use our spray and in his sold out masterclass. What's really crazy here is it's not claiming it is the best product. It's not even claiming the best unique value propositions of the product. It's just making a statement. And we actually have no idea whether that masterclass is actually using the best hairstylist in the world. So you could literally take some kind of B-roll, make a claim that your product is use for the best soccer team in the world, right? And show clips of that soccer team as an example with really good music. That's this also working. So this can be made with an iPhone. If you have the TikTok app, the Instagram app, any one of you guys can make this. And this ad is also crushing. So there really isn't an excuse to not make creative. Creative can be made very simply. My recommendation is just to start with what is simple. I've given you five ad types. Those five ad types are crushing for the main different brands that they're running for. So what that means is number one, what can you learn from it? Think about what is this ad doing? that you're not doing. Number two is don't just copy it word for word verbatim. Take the concept, take the inspiration and make it your own. There's one thing I've learned over 10 years advertising is if you take something and copy it exactly, it's probably not going to work. But if you take it, make it your own, make it their own style, but take the same core concept, the same type of hook, but make it your own, there's a good chance that it's actually going to work for you. So give it a try. Those five ads are converting like crazy. And by the way, we look at these kind of ads every single week inside our DDC Dojo mentorship I have for brands. If that sounds remotely interesting to you, click the link in the description and hopefully I'll see you on the inside.